One popular and useful application of trigonometry and some geometry is in the field of navigation or uh, surveying. And in this video, what I'm going to do is introduce or for some of you review topics of navigation that you are seeing in trigonometry. And after a quick introduction, we'll do a couple problems and uh, hopefully it'll clear some things up for you. Um, one of the things that confused me most when I was a student is how to uh, draw the angles of navigation. And, the, and what confused me most was simply that it differs from geometry. As most of you recall in geometry, when you draw an angle, you start at the x-axis and you move counterclockwise. So for example, if this is a 50 degree angle, you would start at zero and go up to 50 degrees and there's your angle. This is not what you do in navigation. Navigation actually is you start at the what they would call the y-axis, but really what it is is it's north and north is zero and you start at north and so if you were to draw an angle of let's say let's call this 40 degrees a bearing of 40 degrees you would start at north which is zero and you'd move clockwise and you would end up with an angle that looks like that so that's important to keep uh, in mind as we take a look at a couple examples of measuring angles uh, in navigation and surveying so here are a few examples. Um, let's start with the first one. Uh, for a measurement of north 30 west, um, you would start again at north, which is zero. And this one is moving in the west direction 30 degrees. So again, you move this way. And this is the direction of the movement from zero. And similarly, if you were to go north 30 east, you would again start at north, zero, and you would move 30 degrees east in this direction. This is east, this is west, this is south, just like a compass. And knowing that, we can look at the examples at the bottom. We want to move south 50 east. So again, in, in this case, instead of starting north, on this axis, we're going to start at south and we're going to move 50 degrees to the east. So we move 50 degrees this way and we have an angle of 50 degrees and actually it's a direction in this manner. And lastly, we would have south 50 degrees west. So again, we start south and then we move 50 degrees west and we have our angle such as that. So those are some examples of that. And finally, another way of expressing direction and movement and angles in navigation uh, are, are the terms bearings. And this can be a little bit confusing, but basically it's the same sense in the previous page, except you're always starting at due north. So when somebody says a bearing of, of due east, that's pretty obvious. You have north, east, south, west. So due east, of course, is just straight down the horizontal axis. And that would be your bearing. So you'd be moving from here to here. And if you wanted to move southwest, you would again start at some given point and you would move directly southwest. And of course, this is equivalent to south 45 degrees west. And then uh, if we want to move again to using bearings, if you don't have something on the poles north, east, south, west, we have, let's say, 60 degrees. You always start at north, which is zero, and you always move clockwise. So in this case, you'd move 60 degrees clockwise, and your new change of direction would be in this manner, this way. And of course, if you have 300 degrees, we'd start at north and we'd move clockwise 90, 180, 270, 300 and so you would have a directional movement this way. So the movement is actually going in this direction. 
Okay, so let's keep those in mind. We're going to do a couple word problems. And again, most importantly, remember that we're moving in a clockwise direction and using uh, north, south, east, west as opposed to x and y coordinates. This first word problem example, uh, we'll get to use a couple of the navigation terms. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we have two hikers in a camp. They both leave in different directions. Hiker A, that's his or her name, is traveling north 40 east at six miles per hour. And hiker B is traveling in a different direction, north 70 west is the compass uh, setting or direction at five miles per hour. How far apart are they after two hours? So like most word problems we like to do is draw a quick sketch. And let's make our little camp here. Here's the campsite. And um, since we're using navigation, I'm gonna draw a north-south, east-west grid. Okay. And traveler A goes north 40 east. So as we saw before, you go, you start at north, and we're gonna go 40 degrees east, and that'll give us a rough sketch of about like this. Okay, this is 40 degrees. Okay, and the distance that this A traveled is six miles per hour, so after two hours, that person has gone 12 miles. And then at the same time, B has left and he or she has gone north 70 degrees west. And so it's gonna look something more like this. And the length of this one is 10 miles. And this is going to be 70 degrees, 40 degrees. And um, for you geometry people, you of course recognize that this is 20 degrees here and 50 degrees here. Um, but nevertheless, what we're looking for is the distance between B and A, which is this straight line. And you can see we have a triangle. So if you are in trigonometry, you can recognize that this looks very similar to solving triangles where you are given two sides and the included angle. And the included angle in this case is this is 70 degrees, this is 40 degrees, Therefore, the included angle is 110 degrees. And as you might recall from trigonometry, when you have two sides and the included angle, you can find the rest of the components of this triangle, more, most specifically this side, using the law of cosines. So for a quick review, the law of cosines, the formula is c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab times the cosine of c. So it's basically, in this case, the distance we're looking for, this will be c, is going to be squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab and the cosine of the opposite angle. So let's just use some quick substitution. c squared is equal to 10 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 10 times 12 times the cosine of 110 degrees. As you can clearly see, 40 here and 70 there. And we start finding these values. This is 100 plus 144 minus 20, 240 times the cosine of 110. So I pull out my little handy dandy calculator. The cosine, remember to use degrees, not radians, is negative 0 0.345, 3.42, I'm sorry. And then simplifying, we get, this is 244 minus negative this times 240 is minus negative 82.1. So, C squared is equal to 326, roughly. And then C is therefore equal to the square root of that, which is about 18.05. And that is the distance 
that the two hikers are. And again, we can check it's reasonable. This one went 10 that way, 12. If they were going straight across, it'd be 22. But since they're at a little bit of an angle towards each other, the answer is 18, and that is the solution. Now in this example, we have a little bit of a variation. We have a ship that's traveling 40 miles at a bearing or compass setting of south 70 west. And then it turns and travels 60 miles at a compass direction of north 50 west. How far is it from the port? So again, like the other example, let's draw a picture. And we have our port. Let's put it, uh, let's see, south, they're heading west. So let's put it over here. So this is the port. And the ship travels. Again, let's draw a quick grid to help ourselves out a little bit. This is our north, south, east, west grid, which helps us sketch direction. So the ship travels 40 miles south, 70 degrees west. So south, down here, and 70 degrees this is a 70 degree angle and what in west so it's going to go about like this and we're going to make it 40 miles so this is 40 miles and this is 70 degrees so we have 70 degrees this way and now the ship is here then it turns and travels 60 miles north 50 west so again, we're starting at a new point. So let's draw a second grid. Again, north, south, east, west. So we basically, so we have our reference point. These are the same. And now the ship has traveled north, 50 degrees west. This is 50 degrees. And so it looks something like this. And it's gone 60 miles. So let's make it even longer. So this is 60 miles. And the question is asking how far from the port. So like the other example, we have a ship that is right here. And the port is over here. And we're looking for the distance from this ship to this port. And again, we have a triangle. So we're looking for distance for these two. And once again, we have two sides. So if we can determine what this included angle is, we can use law of cosines once again. So the question is, is what is the measure of this angle in here? So what we're going to do is we're going to use some geometry. As you remember, first of all, we, well, first of all, we know this is 50 degrees, this part right here, because this is 50. Question is, what's the measure of this other part of the angle? And if you remember from geometry, parallel lines, cut by a transversal means alternate interior angles are congruent. So in this case, this is 70 degrees. If this is 70 degrees, that means this must be 70 degrees as well. Because these are, if I turn it sideways, you can see, these are parallel lines cut by a transversal. Therefore, alternate interior angles are congruent. So anyway, we have 70 degrees, 70 degrees. So now we have this triangle. I'll redraw it. We have this triangle, we'll extract it. We have, which is D. And this side is going to be 40. And this side is going to be 60. And we just determined that this inside is going to be 120 degrees. Okay? So let's take our formula again, and we'll use law of cosines. So we have d squared equals 60 squared plus 40 squared minus 2 times 40 times 60 times the cosine of 120. Okay, and therefore d squared is equal to 3600 plus 1600 minus 4800 times the cosine of 120. And the cosine of 120 is 
negative 0.5, we should have known that, it's a 3069 triangle. So 120 would be, cosine of that is 0.5. Therefore, d squared is equal to 5200 minus minus, so plus 2400 equals 7600. Therefore, d is equal to the square root of 7600, which is... 87.2 and that is the distance that the ship is from the port and again it makes sense because if it was going straight west straight west would be 100 but because the angles are in it's gonna be less than 100 and therefore it's 87.2 and that's our solution